For your first technology assignment in Math 203, you are asked to collect quantitative data from at least 30 people and to create a histogram of that data in a technology of your choice. This video is going to show you how to make a histogram of your data with the program StatCrunch. StatCrunch Access comes to you for free, bundled with your My Math Lab package. You can launch StatCrunch either by logging in to your My Math Lab course and clicking StatCrunch from the tabs on the left-hand side of the page, or you can go to StatCrunch.com and log in with the same username and password that you use for your My Math Lab account. Once you're here, you'll want to go to Open StatCrunch to launch the program. By the time you are here, you should already have your data collected from your 30 participants. Remember, you needed to collect quantitative data for this assignment. That means that the answers you got from your participants should have been numbers. They should not have been names or words or categories because that's the incorrect type of data and you will not be able to do this assignment. For example, you should not have asked your participants whether or not they like coffee because the response you would get to the question, do you like coffee, is a yes or no response. It's not a number. But you could ask your participants, how many cups of coffee do you drink every day? The response you get to that question will be a number and it is quantitative data. Once you have all your quantitative data, you are going to list the data one by one into the cells that you have here in the grid. The data being used here in the example is the response to the question, how many Facebook friends do you have? So each of these numbers in column number one represents the number of Facebook friends that the person who responded to the question had. At the top, you notice there is a name for this column, which defaults to saying var1 for variable one. But that's not a very descriptive title for this data. So if you click on the label cell at the top, you can rename that column to be something appropriate for whatever your data is. I will label this number of Facebook friends. Once your data is entered, you're ready to make your histogram. A histogram is a graph, so to make the histogram, you're going to go to Graph at the top and then select Histogram. At the top, you will select the column that has the data that you want to generate the histogram for. All these options here you can leave as they are. If you want to explore them a little bit to see how they change your graph, you certainly may, but the defaults are fine. Scrolling down, it's very important that on your graph you have appropriate labels. This means labeling both the X and the Y axis and giving your graph an appropriate title. So you can do all of those things right here if you want to. For example, for the title, I am going to call this graph histogram of number of Facebook friends. When you click Compute at the bottom, a graph will appear. So we now have a histogram that represents this data from the 30 people who I asked, how many Facebook friends do you have? Notice that it has a title, that the x-axis is labeled as number of Facebook friends. That is because I titled that column number of Facebook friends. And the y-axis is labeled as frequency. Now, if you wanted to edit any of those titles or labels, you could click on options at the top and then select edit. And you'll be taken back to the same screen where you can then go and change anything you'd like to change from this section. That's it. You now have your histogram and have completed the technology section for assignment number one.